June 14th, 2023. Teenagers were seen on social media as going on an urbic session in an abandoned Belgian manor. An hour later, a timeline anomaly was picked up by our scanners, and the kids stopped posting updates. Kronos operatives have locked the area down and are investigating to neutralize the loophole. Bonjour everyone, I am Yann, your favorite friendly Frenchman, and welcome to the Belgian Manor, where the teenagers have gone on an urbic session and have been lost to time. We can see the loophole going on around us. It's a time travel themed spooky Gerslauer multipass and multi-launch coaster. It's a, it's a weird concept, I know. I just really like the concept and uh, since I didn't really talk during the contest showcase and now I'm resubmitting it uh, to uh, participate in Corvus's latest contest for his 7.5k subs, by the way, congratulations my friend. Um, I thought it was a good opportunity to talk about the ride because I didn't really talk about it, talk about the storyline, I didn't want to influence the, the contest at the time because I was a moderator for uh, for the, the this server. But yes, essentially uh, we arrive at the manor after the Kronos operatives have taken um, the liberty to basically lock the place down and we are here to help them investigate inside the loophole and board the loophole and 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 the the, the weird contraption that has created the loophole we'll talk about that a little bit later i just wanted to show you a few of the details outside you can see that the manor is obviously um, abandoned and overgrown we can see uh, some uh, some coins in the fountain as people in theme park would uh, throw those. We have also uh, the bins and the benches from I think it was uh, Morningstar, yeah that's right. And here uh, we have the uh, high check. Uh, <laughs> obviously now I'm putting the red because I, I keep getting um, uh, while well, people are refusing, staff are refusing that I board for certain roller coasters with a height limit, and so now I'm uh, I'm frustrated. So I started putting that in uh, in my actual creations. But yeah, this is uh, this is a nice bright sign as well. I really really like it. Let's go inside the queue, and as you can see, we have a diagram. Well, not really a <clears throat> Sorry, my voice is fading. <laughs> Not really a diagram, but more a screen, let's say, with an animation. It's essentially following the two timelines, quote-unquote, timelines <laughs> of, uh, of the coaster. So now it's on its green track and it's about to get to the red. There it goes. And now it's on the red track and it's progressing as the car is progressing as well. It's a nice little detail. You can see that the more futuristic stuff is here because of the Kronos operatives and the more rustic, um, sometimes even steampunk stuff is more things that uh, this Belgian manor had, uh, well, things that had been left at, in the Belgian manor. I don't know if you guys noticed during the showcase, by the way, but there are a few gargoyles scattered around the place to make it extra creepy if you see them. Here you can see the the, um, the transfer track as well. Uh, we'll check that out in a minute. Here, I honestly was inspired by Nemesis with uh, with this ride. I, I really like this containment Stranger Things vibe. And uh, I wanted to have whatever that was, that time travel matter uh, to be radioactive. And uh, so this would be uh, another place that the Kronos operatives would be investigating. And you have another gargoyle right there as well. 
the gargoyles uh, are really great. It, it's sort of uh, implying that there's more to this place than meets the eye. Here's a little bridge. You can see over the launch and the, the beginning of the layout as well. And the break run as well. We're about to see the second launch. And as you can see, that's probably not something that you're familiar with in Planet Coaster because it, it, it's kind of tricky to pull off. But you can pull off a multi-pass multi-launch um, with the same launch. L let me explain. Essentially, this uh, car has launched twice on the same thing. It all makes sense once you're... Once you'll board the, the thing, and then you have a switch track over there, kind of like to Tatis, to lead to two different uh, sections of track. So earlier you you saw the the coaster go on the red track, and now it's going on the green tracks at, at the beginning of the ride. Really spooky stuff. <laughs> and there's the the red timeline launch, and now it's going on the red. I thought it was a neat little trick, I really liked the concept and I wanted to use it. I was really inspired by uh, Fury at Bobby on Land and I wanted to see if that was possible in Planet Coaster and obviously the, um, the swing launch is not possible in Planet Coaster so I got the idea of doing that instead. And here is our station with still... I I'm not sure, I think those are from the Chronos Operatives people. But, um, this is more ancient technology from that Belgian manor that has been abandoned. And here you can see the station, uh, the, the checks for uh, the two operators and the um, control room. A little bit of clutter. Uh, lighting under there uh, that was inspired by Terran actually with uh, the the green lighting and uh, it's turning to red when uh, the red timeline is returning to the station but yeah I, I really love that effect it really gives the uh, if we can wait a little bit where is it well it's going back like when the thing is departing it kind of makes it feel like it, it's a time loop so it's about to depart so this one is departing, and then the red timeline is arriving, as if nothing happened, you know? Really... Uh, an isolated... isolated, sorry, incident. I really, really like this. And then you have the, the, the baggage hold right there. Really, really like it. Since we're in the station, we might as well look at the transfer track, so here it is. I don't know if you guys can see. I hope you can. I, I can, and I'm in a bright environment, so I hope you guys can. And essentially the, the, the transfer track leads to that empty room, but that's make-believe. Obviously, we cannot make transfer tracks in Planet Coaster. Maybe we should go on loophole now. And there we go, that was Loophole. I hope you guys enjoyed it because I really enjoyed making it. And it's a fun little concept as well, like, in real life, obviously we're in Planet Coaster, I have to do this, uh, this proposing kind of track. Um, but essentially this would have been a turntable, and uh, so you would have faced the clock and then ding, and then 
it would have faced that way and then launched like a soul. I really wanted to take advantage of the really powerful Gerstlauer launches. They're, they're really probably the best LSMs in the industry, even though the the Intamin ones are really, really good as well. But yeah, that's pretty much everything about Lupo. It, it is a small spotlight. I'm using it because I'm not going to be able to make it to the premiere today. I'm sorry in advance. <laughs> but I hope you guys liked it nevertheless. Let me know what you think about this prototype Gerslauer creation in the comments. Also consider liking the video and subscribing to the channel to see more Planet Coaster and theme park related content. This has been Yan, your favorite friendly Frenchman. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. A bientôt!